Last week, I produced a video about American yacht builders in which I highlighted the Hatteras, Palmer Johnson and Delta Marine shipyards. And I asked you who you thought I should have included in the list. The response was overwhelming. I've never seen so many comments to one of my videos. So without further ado, here are the most popular requests. Shame on me for not having mentioned this remarkable yacht builder. Westport have been consistently successful for decades now and their product range is very strong and very big. The smallest yacht that they build is the W112, a 112-foot tri-deck yacht that can cruise at 20 knots and has a draft shallow enough to use extensively in the Bahamas. The styling of this yacht has improved notably over the last decade. And speaking of styling, just take a look at the new Westport 125. This is the entry-level Westport yacht for buyers who really want a master stateroom on the main deck and full beam at that. The draft of this model is even more shallow than that of the 112 at just 5 foot 9. She also cruises at 20 knots. If this is the shape of Westports to come, then their future looks very secure indeed. One of the most popular Westport yachts is the W130 though. They've actually been building these models since 2001, so it must surely be one of, if not the most successful production yachts in its size range. Now I say production yachts because all Westports are built from glass resin composite. Their hulls and their superstructures are literally popped out of a mold. There's no changing the way that they look. And those molds are very, very expensive to build. You pretty much have to sell three yachts just to justify the cost of the tooling. So you can imagine just how confident Westport were in their abilities and in their client base to produce this. The Westport 164 is one of the world's largest composite production yachts and they seem to be flying off the shelves since the first one was launched in 2006. For yacht brokers and owners in the Med, it's easy to focus on Bonetti or Sunseeker for this size range in composite. But Westport is such a very strong contender too. This is a magnificent 50 meter yacht that I personally would not hesitate to recommend to my clients. In the comments section of last week's video, many people echoed the thoughts of C. Lance Frazier, who said, Burger Boat Company is my favorite US builder. They build what is often considered the quintessential yacht. Another notable mention is Director. I totally agree, and I may well cover Director in a future video, but let's take a look for a moment at Burger, who have built so many and such varied yachts, including the splendid 142-foot Sea Owl, the stunning and retro-styled Sikara 4, and the rather curious sister ship projects known as Hulls 505 and 506. I get the feeling that business may be a little slow at Burger right now, but they do have an excellent product range on offer that runs from a rather stylish looking 112 foot raised pilot house to a 214 foot tri-deck. This is a historic American builder with well-proven ability to deliver. So if indeed they do have a lull in production at the moment, this will be a good time to look at them for a new build project. And talking of large and imposing yachts, Edward L. LaRouge joined many of you in commenting, among the yachts you mentioned, Trinity should have made the list as first or second. Now, I didn't mention them in the first video because they're not building yachts anymore, although the company and the structure still does exist. I'll come on to that subject in a moment. But I have to say that Trinity are one of the all-time greatest American super yacht builders. One of the last yachts they delivered in 2014 was the 242-foot Cocoa Beam. But really, the yachts that put Trinity on the map in such a big way include the 190-foot Skyfall, 187-foot Lady Sara, and of course, 161-foot Zoom Zoom Zoom. Shallow draft, all aluminium yachts that offered performance, comfort, and a very high standard of quality. 
Spending just a few moments talking about this company hardly does justice though to a prolific yacht builder that built so many varied yachts over the years and had so many repeat clients. I mentioned that Trinity is still in business because they were bought out by a larger company called Harvey Gulf International Marine and the structure is now being used to build vessels for the offshore energy sector, patrol boats, although I also understand that they would consider building a yacht if they're approached to do so. It's just that that's not really something that they're promoting anymore. I do hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I certainly enjoyed doing the research to produce it, re-familiarizing myself with all of these great American builders. I'll also be producing a third and final video in the series to talk about the smaller boat builders and yacht builders in America. Let's call it the ones that got away. Now, there is a small section of my subscribers and viewers who are associated with yachting and in some cases even own a yacht. So if you're interested in buying or selling a yacht or you know somebody who's interested in doing that, do let me know. As a yacht broker, I consider myself to be working for the buyer or the seller of a yacht in much the same way as a company director works for the owner of a company and is given a specific assignment that needs to be accomplished efficiently. So I spend time trying to figure out exactly what it is that the buyer or the seller wants to accomplish. And then I go out and do market research to make sure that the best yachts are proposed, the best legal or technical advice is given so that the purchase can be accomplished in the most efficient way possible. I'll be producing a very self-promotional video very soon that talks about just what it is that Yacht Broker does all day, or more to the point, what it is that I do for my clients. We're also coming up to the end of the month, so I'll be sending out my Inside Info newsletter. If you want to subscribe to that, there should be a link appearing on screen right now. And finally, if you do enjoy watching these videos about yachts and yachting, make sure that you subscribe to my channel.